It has been called A Feast for the Imagination by the New Yorker and was finalist for the Los Angeles Times Best Novel of the Year contest. She has a PhD from Yale University and is Professor of English Emerita at Georgetown. Judith Fire creates Emily's life in this epistolary novel of 66 imagined letters since Emily Dickinson's days at St. Mary's Seminary when she was 17 until her death at age 55 in Amherst. We as readers can watch through these letters based on characters who really existed, the process of young Emily becoming a poet in spite of all the misunderstandings and prejudices of the people around her. All this fiction is based upon actual events, as Judith Farr explains in the author's afterword. Quote, I have tried to tell the truth about her inner life, especially during her formative years at school, but in the slant, fictional way that she herself preferred. Unquote. Judith Farr's at the same time intense and precise text is written respecting the language of Emily Dickinson's contemporaries. This poignant novel vividly puts before our eyes the circumstances under which such a unique poet must have suffered for being ahead of her time, a modern poet in Victorian New England. Anna Nobre Guzman was born in Lisbon, Portugal, in 1952. She studied design in Arco Design School in Lisbon and philosophy at Lisbon University. She has published seven novels and a collection of short stories. Her first book, Dulito Sem Corpo, Crime Without a Corpse, published in 1996, was awarded the Massima Literary Prize. She regularly publishes in magazine Art, Storm Magazine, and Elle, and short fiction in several publications. Her work has also been published in Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Spain, and Italy. Married to the Swiss-American painter Michael Lieberstein, also with us this evening, Anna has traveled the world, has lived in the United States, New Canaan, Connecticut, and New York, and now lives between the Alentejo in Portugal and Switzerland. The Prisoner of Emily Dickinson is the story of a young Portuguese journalist, Emilia, who since beginning her English lessons with her American tutor, Miss Donna, has become obsessed with the poetry, poetry and personality of Emily Dickinson. Through fragments of her poetry, biography and letters, Emily's life and age is situated, thanks to Anna Novikuzman's art as a novelist, within contemporary Portuguese stories of enclosure, one of Anna's constant themes. There has been a strong tradition of tales of imprisonment and confinement in Portugal, particularly concerning women and literature written by women, that goes from the well-known letters of Sister Mariana Alcofurado in the 17th century to the new Portuguese letters written by the three Marias, Maria Isabel Barreno, Maria Teresa Horta, Maria Venda Costa, in the last years of the dictatorship in 1972. In this context, it is stimulating and refreshing to read a contemporary text by a woman author where the notions of enclosure are dislocated, reinvented, and reinvented in the portrait of Emilia, who aspires to become a poet but does not possess the necessary talent or genius, and who is the object of an obsession with the poetry and the character of Emily Dickinson. Transforming the concept of enclosure in a positive sense, Anna is able, at the same time, to give us a different perspective of Emily Dickinson herself. Not a strange, different, isolated myth of Emerson any longer, but closer to us through her Portuguese contemporary, ironical, double Emilia and her family, friends, and social context. My special thanks go to Professor Susan Linsky, 
who attentively co-directed this event. The enthusiasm and professional know-how with which she directed, directs our Georgetown theater students are invaluable. Our thanks go also to all our wonderful students performing this evening, Nikki Masumo Kanan, Emily Miller, Mercedes Lopez, John Patrick G.C. Calcerano, Ellie Villarreal, and Mallory Goodman. Thanks to, to, our, to our colleague, Professor Gay Gibson Chima, who will be acting in this performance as Miss Donna. Special thanks also to Veronica Salas Riza, Barbara Mujica, Jason Rosenblatt, Derek Goldman, and to all our uh, wonderful colleagues and friends. Special thanks to Veronica Polon Rosario for the flyer and the booklet. So it is with great pleasure and joy that I uh, let you uh, become, if even for a while, prisoners of Emily Dickinson and also of our authors, Judith Farr and Anandok Guzman, and of our wonderful students and performers this evening. Afterwards, don't go away. You'll have time to ask questions to our, to Professor Judith Farr, to author Ananog Guzman, and uh, you know they are certainly two of the people uh, on our planet who know more about Emily Dickinson. And afterwards, we have a live reception. Um, outside, you are all cordially invited. Please, please silence your cell phones and enjoy, enjoy the performance.